Oh wow, there, there's even she's having a lot of issues now. Now, before you give all the context, I don't know a lot about it. I should have actually prepared this, Joe. Why am I stuttering? I can't even see my hand. You're frozen. Um, but my initial thoughts are Drew Barrymore is maybe transitioning into just full talk show host because she doesn't do much acting anymore. Because she plays the same role in every film. Well, oh, well, she, she's she bringing her show back. She's bringing her. In fact, I think they started taping yesterday. Wait, she has a TV her, show. Yeah, she's There's bringing her show, show yeah. back. Um, uh, without writers. And all these crybabies are uh, <laughs> protesting her and saying she's a scab. She's not a scab because she's doing her show without, without writers. writers. Okay. Um, that makes they got sense. nothing to complain about. And there's and there's context here. What if it's better? And everybody, every, Everyone doesn't know their history. They don't know their history. It was only 15 years ago we had the 0708 writer strike. And all the late night talk shows went dark. During the um, 0708 writer strike, because they didn't have writers, but the, they got together: Conan O'Brien, Jay Leno, um, Colbert, and John Stewart, who were who were both still on Comedy Central at the time. And they realized that the writers were striking, but their crew, the editors, the cameramen, all the people that weren't in the WGA, had families. That needed they, they were out of work because of the strike, and they said we're bringing our show back without writers because we got to pay our staff. The non-writers, the staff members who aren't on strike, are suffering. So they came back without writers. They all came back in January of '08 during the strike without writers and did their shows to support their 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 crew who Please. were suffering, who were not on strike. So now Drew Barrymore is doing the same thing they did in 08, and everyone's going, she's a scab, she's a scab. F you guys, she's not a scab. She, she's well, doing I, her show without writers. The thing is, she's, she's, she's very wealthy, man. She could, pay, them. Them. She could pay them, though. She could pay the writers. Like, you know, she could help them out. That's what the well, other they, talk show has done. Basically, they can't make even appearance or any interviews then if they're yeah. going to be like that, if you're going to be consistent. Well, she can have she can have guests on her show. They no, just I'm can't saying the their... people criticizing her should just stop not making any appearance whatsoever. Yeah, well, they're it's all outside show, protesting her, calling her a scab. She is not. It's like I wish Bill Moore would not get back to, back to his show without writers because he basically just yeah. uses the writers for the, the monologue at the beginning. Now, and make no hear. mistake about it. The show's probably going to suck because she doesn't have writers. It's going to be her like ad libbing everything. How good is she at improv? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, she's just be able to be good at improv. She's an actress, right? You have to do. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Zero point zero. Well, head writers of the Drew Bear. I didn't even know she had a show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> talk to us from the picket lines about Barry Moore's decision to resume production without its writers. What? Okay, oh. she's not supporting the writers. Oh, she's she's going going different, article, different As article. Says. One. That, that has that makes. No, but she has enough right. money. She has enough money to pay the writers. Does uh, she really? She's not that rich. She's not yes, like she Jim is. She's a, you know how rich she is? You know how wealthy she is? She comes from a wealthy family. She doesn't pay the writers though because they're on strike. Jimmy Fallon did. Even well, even if you pay them, they're not allowed to write. No, but do not because they're part of the guild. Wow, Drew Barrymore dropped as National Book Awards host after straight backlash. Yeah, see, like I said, everyone's being crybabies about this. I mean, if she's not actually acting, why do they care? Right. And there's something uh, th this whole strike. Everyone has to suffer know, together, is I the, guess the point. The, you know, I lived through the 0708 strike. It wasn't that long ago. This strike mm -hmm. is being treated differently than the strike was 15 years ago. There's this attitude, nobody should do anything because we got to be in solidarity to the writers. And I don't understand that attitude because that's not the way it was 15 years ago. 15 years ago, sure, they couldn't write new scripts, but all the stuff that was written ahead of time, they went, now, now this sometimes a little different because the actors were on strike, but this started before the actors went on strike. Shows like Evil, um, Paramount Plus is Evil, they were done writing for the season and they were trying to film the, the stuff and get it done. Um, 
and they, they couldn't because the the writers were protesting outside and saying nobody could go in and do any work and that's bullshit because you know what's going to happen you know and i stand with the writers i'm all for the writers but don't but the writers also shouldn't be stupid because they want to have shows to come back to when the strike's mm-hmm. over they want to have shows to come back to and if they're not careful and these shows are dark Some shows are not long, coming back right yeah exactly look at what happened to heroes they're, they're canceling heroes projects was, all no, over but how could, yeah. you're right you're right but there's always once heroes they got back to huge it, but yes these shows I honestly canceled, but I honestly on the other side yeah, new I shows honestly, will be made new shows I will honestly be think this her type of show is one that if it was on hiatus too long it just might never ever come back honestly exactly exactly Drew Barrymore that I I could see the whoever's developing it or paying the bills be like yeah did we really need the Drew Barrymore show honestly so she could actually they're they're throwing her under the bus and she could be creating a future for them to come back to once they get things no worked no out. The, some, the, the yeah. actors some, some actors have spoken out against her no I I know that I'm saying they're they are speaking out against her but I don't necessarily think she's doing the worst thing here. Voltaire, what's what's your thoughts? Like the Drew Barrymore show, is it um like are people clamoring like, man, I can't wait for the Drew Barrymore show to come back? No offense I mean, to Drew it, Barrymore. It, it, it is a very popular show. It is? Yeah. yeah. I had no idea. I, I think I, it's probably the most popular daytime talk show there is now. But keeping the new Oprah, is that what you're telling me? What's that? She's the new Oprah or new Ellen? I, I mean, uh, Oprah's gone. Nobody likes Ellen anymore. Did, did Ellen end yet? I know she was ending it. I don't she's know if done. she's done yeah, yet. Ellen's What's done. this comment? Okay. I disagree. Shifting it hasn't Barry Meyer has done anything good since Tom. What do you mean she's done, Tom Green? <laughs> what, is, what, is that, what is that comment? She, even she mean? was married to Tom Green. I think she that was, was a mistake. To... She was I like Tom it. Green, but that um, was a see. He, she was out of his league. Oh yeah, that was another thing. They they had a they had an episode of the show where he was her guest, and they came back. I mean, like, they were they each other since together. they got divorced. So they were Tom Green is a now. glorified YouTuber before there was YouTube. There were he, there were Charlie Angels in together. He did like pranks since you know he's not. I mean, yeah, I'm, I don't yeah. hate him or anything. He I'm had a good a, he had a good one at at the, in the comedy game. Oh my god, I I watched. Uh, I'm still watching funny. Bad Girls on VHS. Drew Barrymore in there. Whew. <laughs> and there's a scene where they're all playing in the lake. Yeah. What about all Poison those bad Ivy? Girls? Wasn't she in the original Poison Ivy? Oh, and, and Batman Forever. No, no, she oh, was she a henchwoman in uh, Batman Forever. Yeah. For Two Face. She wasn't. I mean, Poison did you Ivy. did you see Bad Girls, Joe? Uh, that was a western, right? Yeah. Was that was that a western? Yeah. Yeah, I, My dear I remember Lord. the title. I never saw it. Drew Barrymore in that. That's all I'm saying. You can do your own research. Yeah, wow. she, hasn't, she hasn't done a lot of movies, like a lot. No, you know how you know you know how you like to pick out scenes for movies, her? Voltaire. Yeah, there's one of those scenes with her. All right, I'll have to check it out. <laughs> I'll have to check it. out. I mean, I, I, I'm compelled to. The people need my opinion on these things. I didn't even finish the movie yet. I was like, I want to. I I didn't go buy it for that. I bought it actually for a Western, you know, I want to see action that not that type of action. <laughs> not that there's that, that they're just having fun in a lake with no clothes on, oh. but, uh, there's some other big actresses in that movie. Oh too. yeah, they are. They're all beautiful. But I was, I was hoping for gun action, you know, <laughs> the bad girls gun action, like sort of like a young guns with ladies, man. I love maybe, young- maybe it'll get like that towards the end. I don't know. <laughs> Now I'm distracted. Uh, okay, but yeah, I'm not against this. I mean, what are you gonna do? She she's kind of her her recent project isn't exactly acting; it's a talk show host, right? I'm not against it either, to be honest with you. I she mean, what are what they she... getting mad at people being on YouTube just because well, she's on not... network TV? YouTubers don't have. I writers. guess that is the well, difference. You're not for yourself. Not part of the... You're not. You're part of the. Actor. You're you're using the system still. Everyone has to suffer together. I guess is the is what the what's implied here, right? And I don't agree with that. I mean, that's not the that's not the way it was done 15 years ago. It's not the way it was done in 1988. Why? Why in this strike does? 
Uh, now, and I'm talking before the actors went on strike too. I get it. Now the writers and the actors are on strike. But even before the actors went on strike, they were all saying like, well, oh, no, no, in solidarity well, with the writers, you got to shut down. That's not the way they did it in 88. Well, he, that's not the way they did it in 08. Why is that suddenly the way? Here's the thing. If she didn't agree to this now, she probably, the, their show wouldn't be back till next year. And then who knows if the... A lot yeah. of these studios, a lot You're of these saying, companies are probably strong arming their employees. Like, uh, what do you th- I what's that Forge Major? For I'm not saying it I, right, Forge Major. I disagree. Where it's I been like an, yeah, an act of God or whatever. They use that yeah. clause to cancel pro- contracts. <clears throat> yeah. So if she didn't do that, maybe she would be subject to the, and I'm still probably no. saying incorrectly, the Forge Major, and her I, show wouldn't I, come back. I think it should have come back regardless. I think force is the first word. Force. Yeah, force majeure. Force majeure. Okay. Yeah. I think she has that much power to say no. Do you do you think Voltaire that potentially that could have been a situation for her project too? If if she didn't. Yeah. I don't think she was forced. (laughs) No, I don't think. No, no, no. That's not 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 forced. uh, No, I don't. But she's just saying, you know what? We're we're canceling other things uh, with contracts. The lo- longer this goes on, it's not going to end in October. They even a lot of the rumors are that it's not even ended in October. So it's probably going to go to next year. Once you get past the year mark, th- there's going to be a lot of projects subject to the force majeure con- yeah. clause, which means th- this is so impactful that we don't have to abide by the contract. I don't know how that's in there. I don't really understand that contract, but mm-hmm. do you have any th- anything to add to that, Voltaire? Like, you know, I want to say that, like, also, to Joe's point, this wasn't how it was done before. And also, she was sitting on her couch before this show. She wasn't doing – nobody wanted her. Nobody was looking for her. And she's terrified this thing will get canceled. So she wants to come back. I don't know if she can. And it's not like she's, she's acting. No, I don't yeah, think she's, she wasn't doing I, anything. She's, listen, as far as I could tell, Drew Barrymore is not acting or writing. But she, but that's back. the thing, though. She's not worried about money. You don't know that. Yeah, we don't oh, know. Her. Come I on. Mean, she's not worried about I don't know money. Why you think she's made so much, uh, Drew Barrymore. She had a big time drug problem for a she, lot of years. She probably wasn't very good with that. money. She, she comes from a very rich family, even when she was young. Is that right? Yes, she was. She was well off before, like she can really, really big. Maybe she's so, paying time green at Palaboti. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just kidding. kidding. I got. Well, that's her. Her we, show was never in jeopardy. You don't know that. Uh, I'm pretty sure once the deal gets done, her show would have been back on. I'm don't you sure. understand, Aaron? The for, the force majeure clause. Just because a show has a contract, they don't have to keep it the longer the strike goes on. There, it's more subject to that clause. She gets them they ratings, cancel- though. She gets them ratings. They're not gonna. She gets a viewership. They can, I can say the same thing for the talk shows on the night. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't think some of these talk shows are coming back. I do. I think Jimmy Fallon's coming back. I think Stephen Colbert's coming back. I think Jimmy Kimmel's all coming back. Even though I, most of them are not. I listen. I funny. love the classic talk show host, and we'll, we'll me too. We'll, we'll get the, our final comments on this, and we'll do a different topic. I don't like them but, either. I, um, I think they're all bad I, now. But I, I like it's just more like a tradition now than a necessity. Right. Like where back in the day, you you even got some of your hard hitting news on talk shows. You know, now I mean, it's I just a variety show. I just don't. Honest. I just find I just find it funny. I used to sneak past my parents and like sneak and watch the oh, old David Letterman show. Yes. The old Letterman. Yeah. I watched like, it with my mom. She's like, all Jimmy right, we'll Fallon stay up Letterman. Fall asleep. Like Jimmy Fallon makes me fall asleep. Like, but, the, but these were like, they were more pivotal in the past, in my opinion. And we'll get to yeah. Joe. And they were actually know. funny. Yeah. Do you, Joe, do you, what do you think about talk show shows? Like the past and the current. I don't, I think Bring they're Colin less relevant Brad. now than ever. Colin and Brian, well, they, I don't think all of them are coming back. They're fodder, they're fodder for YouTube now. I mean, that's that's who they're performing to is YouTube. Uh, I mean, they still get viewers, obviously, uh, but it's not the same as it used to be. Yes. Uh, I think of the ones we have now, uh, the last great one was Conan. Yes. Uh, Conan yeah. uh, ended his show. But, and now he's a podcaster. He, he's, he, they should have capped him yeah. with Jimmy Fallon. Well, I mean, but over, Kimmel, Kimmel's pretty good. I, I like Kimmel. Kimmel. 
Kimmel's pretty good. It's all politics with him. They, they, got, they screwed over Conan, right? Like they screwed over Conan. Big oh time. yeah. Like they yeah. screwed over Letterman. That was, that was Leno. Leno. No. Leno screwed him over. Leno did it. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I, I mean, I'm, Conan was so fun. Hey, Nicky, Conan's Tina. the finest of them all. Like seriously. And I think he's the one who cared about it the most, honestly, about the show. Because he was, he's willing to do anything. He's the type of guy that's like, he gets no, to any genre. I, I would like to watch it later, figure drug, but I kinda, I'm kind kind of trying to move on to topics because I don't want to yeah. be up too much longer. We have a few more topics to go. I kind of move on. I, but I've never found Stephen Colbert even remotely funny. I just, I, I, I don't know if I've laughed at him once ever. I just, I who? don't think the guy's funny. Colbert. I oh, really don't, don't care for I think Cole he's Bear. I think he can be funny, but most of the time to me, subjectively, it feels like he's trying to force funny. Yeah, like it doesn't yeah. seem yeah, organic. That, you know, it just seems like he's trying I, too I hard. Like some stuff of his like he does. I've heard some I've heard enough about him that it sounds like he's a really nice guy. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I, I, people people really like him. I'm sure he's a great guy, but I just his sense of humor doesn't doesn't gel with me. Yeah. Conan's podcast. I've seen clips. I haven't like sat Cole, through a whole podcast that's really Cole, good like that's i think good most of his talk show guys nick you like, have a new he, channel nick talks entertainment this is from echo base like, nick says the episode was mid dave is a hack <laughs> letterman no feloni <laughs> oh like these these talk shows right most i feel like mo- I, it sounds like most of them are like jerks in real life but i feel like conan is genuinely like a real he's the real guy like he, what you see on tv is him in real life Mm. He doesn't um, give me that already as an asshole. I'm s- let me see what else I have. I only have a few other articles and then I have the mailbag. Did 